Today is Thursday, November 2nd. I'm Chris Ledeen with your digital brief. Let's take a look at the top stories. Today, union workers at Ford Motors are continuing to vote on that tentative deal with the automaker. As part of the new agreement, Ford will be allowed to offer an unlimited number of $50,000 buyouts to older workers who are earning the top hourly rate. Ford will be allowed to replace them with younger, lower seniority hires who will earn less. Those who take the buyout have to retire by December of 2024. On your block in Dearborn, Fire Chief Joseph Murray charged with driving drunk. According to the Detroit News, the charge is coming two months after his arrest. Police say Murray was caught speeding in the area of Telegraph and Annapolis. He also allegedly refused a breathalyzer test. Murray is expected to be arraigned December 1st. The city of Harper Woods is on alert today after high levels of lead were found running through the pipes of homes. According to officials, four homes tested this past summer exceeded the action level. If you're in that area, you can go to the Harper Woods NEDC building on Kelly Road, where the city is handing out water filters. Let's turn to our next weather meteorologist, Karen Carter, now for an update on the Thursday forecast. Yeah, temperatures today are going to be a little bit warmer. We'll reach a high of 48 degrees, still under mostly cloudy skies, though, and a little bit breezy out there today with a south-southwest wind gusting to 25 miles per hour. Tonight, 38 will be our overnight low. A little bit warmer there, too. Mostly cloudy skies, still a little bit of a breeze out there with a south-southwest wind gusting to 23 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. We will expect temperatures to continue to warm into the mid-50s for the end of our week and for a weekend but we will have chances of rain as we continue into next week with our best chances on Monday as temperatures reach a high of 60 degrees. Then temperatures are going to start to drop 45 degrees by Wednesday. All right, bundle up. Thanks for that, Karen. That's going to do it for today's digital brief for weather, news and sports. We're covering it all for you here at CBS News Detroit, streaming live on the CBS News app and on Pluto TV.